Hey guys, it's Molly. It's definitely heading summer in, in Florida here. It's hot outside. I wanted to do tonight a magenta base. Ever since I had done the turquoise one with the black, I've really been thinking, man, I want to do magenta. Tried it a couple of times. I'll tell you during the video what happened, but I finally think I figured out what to do to get what I want. So let's go. Hey guys, it's Molly. Um, little tip first is reuse your stir sticks. <laughs> I put mine in, these are wet, these are what I just mixed in, but you can just wipe them off with a paper towel and reuse them so many times. Um, sometimes they end up being like cool little uh, bookmarks as well if you let the paint dry on them, but just a little tip for, for you guys for kind of saving on some stuff. I know it's hard to get to the store sometimes right now, and uh, I've been reusing canvases, I've been reusing sticks, so there's definitely a way around that. Um, I am going to do, like I said in the beginning, I'm going to do a magenta base tonight. I have a couple things to tell you beforehand that I've learned. So I did this, that's why this canvas is used. What I did when I didn't like it, I just scraped the whole thing, wiped it down with a wet paper cloth and uh, let it dry. Um, so what I was noticing is that all my colors were kind of getting swallowed and it just wasn't coming out the way that I wanted it to. It didn't fan out really pretty. And it was because I was using this primary magenta. And I don't know if you guys can see that right there. It has an open box. If you have paint tubes that have this box on there, I think Liquitex may have it as well. That tells you the transparency of the paint. So this is transparent, No, no, nothing in the box. This, um, which is permanent red violet light, is fully opaque here. So what I did is I mixed this was just to get the color I wanted, but I mixed these two together so that I could have a more opaque base. I think what my issue was, was having a transparent, fully transparent base. So my sides weren't getting covered well, my canvas was kind of showing through, my colors didn't stick the way that I wanted them to. And I think I had some transparent colors that I was using as well. So I really thought about this painting and what I wanted to get out of it. So I'm using Sky Blue, a Aztec Gold by Arteza, which has a, a little bit of a darker hue to it. I'm using black. Again, I'm really excited about that. And then I'm using um, a Ultramarine Violet Light. And these are all opaque colors. So I'm just going to kind of experiment around. Um, if you haven't looked at your tubes and your bottles and what you have, look at them and let me know, do you see or have you adjusted your, your paintings based on transparency and opacity? So you guys let me know. I also wanted you to think about, and when I do the pour, I'll, I'll figure out, did I pick the right color? There's so many shades of metallics to use. And you know, I have them in Arteza as well over here, but these all say that they're semi-transparent here, but a lot of metallics will just come across and say that they're opaque. So you gotta check, you gotta see. Um, so that I think makes a difference as well, but the shade. So I was trying to find, I really liked this deep gold um, with this magenta. So I don't know, we'll see how it goes. But enough talking, I'm gonna go ahead and put the paint on the canvas. The other thing that I realized was that my paints were a little bit thin. Um, and so again, I just used the ratios and I'll link the video down below where I actually measure it out. So sometimes I have to go back to the drawing board as well. That was just my torch and that was just to pop some of the air bubbles that are here. All right, I'm going to blow this out. Okay, oops, touched, touched down, had a touch down. Um, so you want enough paint Obviously, oh, this has way better coverage on the sides. Yes, yes. Thank you, thank you. Um, so I got so excited, I forgot what I was. So you wanna have enough on the canvas so that the canvas doesn't show through, it dries with a good layer, and the colors flow. But if you have too much 
and your colors are thin, they'll just sink right down through them. So consistency is so important with this type of pour, you guys, so important. Okay, now I have to think what, I'm super happy that this covered really well. I can tell that it's a good consistency because I, it has a little bit of meat to it. Like I can see the ridges just the tiniest bit where I, um, where I blew it out, but it's not so much that, um, like it didn't spread out too far and it's not like chunky on the canvas. So it's a good consistency. I think I'm going to start with my black again. Gonna, I've been doing blowing this corner and up and over. And I actually really like that composition. So I think maybe I'll stay with that. Is that enough black? I don't know. Okay. What's next? I think I'll go with this ultraviolet purple next. Hmm. Ooh, I have a hair in there. Get you out of there. And then I'm going to go, I think with the blue, I love this color combination. I really hope the black goes well. I think the black and the gold will, but I guess we will see, huh? Maybe I'll do one more, one more black right here. One more purple. You guys can experiment around with how you layer them as well, because that, if you're working with transparents, metallics, and opaques, really try to focus and hone in and see how they're reacting. If something happened, think, okay, was that because that was transparent and I put it on under a, over an opaque and I ended up not being able to see it? That's happened to me a couple of times. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna try to blow well and get down here and then spread it out. I always love what happens right here in the center and then I end up having to leave it because the cells are so beautiful right there. But we'll see if any if I get any cell reaction using all opaques, we'll see how this turns out. I'm putting my paint up here where I want it to spread. There we go, all right, wish me luck, guys. Fix that little part right there. I may have to touch up the sides with a paintbrush anyway, just because of the color, but all right. Whoa! Oh my God, it's so pretty! Where did it all go though? Where did it all go? So I have had actually a lot of people, I'll show you when this is all done, this is gorgeous right here. I've had a lot of people say you have a lot of cracking in your painting and it's not cracking. It is the reaction of the two colors mixing together. It's like cells in a, in a painting where you use some type of silicone or something, which I didn't, but it's the same thing. It's like there's colors around colors around colors and it's because of the weight of the paint. Some sink, some stay on top. Okay, enough of that. I'm gonna blow this out. Um, yes, 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 yes. Woo! <laughs> I'm so much happier with this one. Okay, a couple of things. The Arteza Gold is amazing. All of these colors ended up showing through really pretty. Um, there's a thick layer on here, so I can tell that there's like a bunch of paint right under here. So we'll see if it dries, um, good. And of course I'll always show you if you guys want to get this gold lacing that's up here, what I recommend doing, I don't know if you guys can see it when I actually do, oh, there's one piece of something right here. I got to get that out. I'll get it out after if you blow so I put that ring around, right? And then I blow it this way. And as I cross that, I get this beautiful feathering in the center, but I've pushed the paint over it 
and it mixes and comes out up here on the top. So I get that beautiful feathering of metallics here and all around. It, it's, I'm, I'm super happy about this. I'll show you. Um, look at those cells that are there. Those are really cool. And this is what I was talking about with that like feathering of the metallic. And then over on this side. And so that will dry this beautiful metallic color. I love it. I love the black. Oh, really like this one. The purple did well. The blue and the gold. I think I chose the right color gold. But you guys will always let me know. <laughs> All right, I'll show you the dried result. Here she is. So you can see down. That's what I was talking about by those little gold flecks that are all over the outside. And that comes from me pushing those paints over. Oh, it's just gorgeous. Really, really like it. Let me see if I can get you. Can you see how that metallic hits it? It's really cool. All right, you guys, thanks for watching. Happy painting. Bye.